Good morning. So day two of the trailer repair. Here are rims. Looking good, dried overnight. Then that plate. So these are tang washers. I got them from a trailer place up the street. When they're not installed correctly, I'm gonna show you how they work, so. All right, here we go. Tang washer, see how it's rusty. Still got a sticker on it. Angle grinder. And we got Tom McDonald on right now, so let's see if there's a copyright claim on YouTube when I post this, because when you do other music in the background, you get copyright claims. Let's see. Don't have to do it, but it just looks better. What's up guys? So we made a critical mistake on that last video and I just wanna give a huge shout out to Nathan and the Aardvark for pointing out what we did wrong. Like I said, I was so concerned about the tang washer being correctly that I didn't pay attention to the proper torque specs and system for putting this, what they're calling for, for putting this together, like Dexter says. So when I was at the trailer place up in Indiana and this one was replaced, the mechanic there just said, tighten it up and as long as it spins, you're good. I said, okay, no problem. So after you guys commented, I immediately dropped that video down because, you know, I, I want things to be right. Um, I make mistakes like everyone else in the world, so I do appreciate it. But I went through and I actually downloaded the manual from Dexter. And I have the exact installation instructions for your tang washers and also your axle nuts. So I'm going to take a picture of this put it up there leave it up for five seconds or something so everyone can read through but I've already done the back one I redid it okay and if you look at this if I go like this give that a spin nice and freely right versus this guy stopped already so we are gonna correct this video, and again, thank you so much. This is a learning experience. I've never worked on anything this heavy equipment before. So here we go, the correct way to do it. And following right now will be the instructions. Oh, and I went out and bought this. So it can actually go on my torque wrench so I can do this 100% correctly. So what this is, is a two and a half inch socket and it's three quarters but i found an, a step up to go on my half inch stuff so it steps up now and the beauty of this is it actually fits right on the cap also so now you can do the caps nice and easily with the exact proper torque so here we go So there, now we got the tangs all bent back again, and we're gonna use our two and a half inch socket and pull off this outer one. And it's dirty. I guess it's really not that tight with just using pliers, so I wouldn't recommend doing that either. There we go, outer one, let me get a rag. This is what they call for. Once you get the hub to this point and you put the first nut on, what you wanna do is bring it to 100 foot pounds and that essentially compresses all the bearings in there, right? 
and you're supposed to rotate it. So we do 100 foot pounds on this while rotating it, gets the bearings all in place, and then we'll move to step two. Uh, put it on at 100 foot pounds. Now what you want to do is back it off. When you back it off, do not rotate the hub or anything, okay? Now, take your first nut, hand tight. Hand tight, do not rotate the hub. Now, back off your nut a quarter to three eighths. So I've got there, I'm gonna bring that down. One quarter turn, we back this off. Boom, one quarter turn. Now, Tang goes back on. It's not quite in the right place. Look at that. That works. It's still, we didn't move that past a quarter turn. Now, the Tang washer actually holds this thing in place. So we're going to tighten this one on. Excuse me. This nut holds the Tang washer in place. I swear I should just do, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Okay, now we got that one on. Without rotating the hub, we just tighten this to 150, 100 to 175 pounds foot torque. Turn my torque wrench back on. So that's 100, and we're going to give it. Probably about 150, right? I'll give it a little more beans. <sighs> Boom. That is it. Now we bend the tangs back over the front nut. And you're done. That is the correct way to do it. So we're going to put that back together. Put the cap back on between 20 and 30 foot pounds on the cap. And then we're going to go back to the old video and finish this thing off. So. Thank you again, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, so I just pulled apart the right side of the trailer. Just pulled the oil caps off. And sure enough, look, none of them are locked in place. This oil cap was, I had to like give it some real gumption to take off so what he's probably torqued down to like 50 60 feet uh foot pounds so again and then look at this one not a single one of the tangs is going on the rear bolt rear nut and i did a spin this one's actually pretty good but then this one comes to a stop so there is absolutely no way these guys who worked on this trailer did this correctly so now we know the process we're going to go ahead pull off both the nuts install a new tang and then do the torque sequence correctly both sides and we're going to pull the wheels off and clean up the caliper bolts so we already know how to do that but if you buy a used trailer this is what you're going to look out for stuff like this if someone installs a tang like this you can safely assume they didn't know what they were doing and the rest of it you might want to check out.
that looks a lot cleaner right obviously like yeah so what we're gonna do I wasn't happy with my brakes on the trailer. When the trailer was fully loaded, I put the gain on nine, I'll be going on an on-ramp, right? And just to test the brakes, grab them. I'd still roll through it when I was fully loaded. So when I had to take that whole hub, because I had to replace the rear washer, the rear seal on that rim, or excuse me, on that hub, because that whole thing was shaking around. So I took all that apart. I actually replaced the front bearing too. Like, there's a little play in that. The brand new one didn't have any play. So, anyhow, when I took that one apart, the bolts holding the calipers on had rust all over them. So, in theory, if that was binding a little bit, the braking power wouldn't work, right? So, what I'm going to do is just pull the bolts, clean them up with a wire brush, get it a good amount of grease on them, and then pop them back in. And then we'll go ahead and throw the wheel on So you see, that's a caliper bolt. It's rust and it's a rough edge, right? So again, I don't know, but might as well, cause I'm at this stage, right? So like I said, just clean it up with the wire wheel, put some red grease on it, pop it back in. Right? Million times better. Again, I don't know if that's true as far as the braking goes, but hey, it can't hurt. And since I have the wheels off, this takes about five minutes each. One. All right, so before I put them on, uh, I'm just going to check the tightness of the valve stems. And then the pressure, 105 cold, 105 cold, slap them on there, and that's it. For some extra, I got these cool valve stem caps. <laughs> And I can't open the back here. Yeah. yeah, buddy. Look at that guy.
I misplaced one of the lug nuts. Wonderful. Ah, we'll find it. Now I'm just gonna put some oil on the hub. And this way when I spin the wheels, it'll get the bearings lubricated. But as you can see, I'm at a terrible angle on my driveway right now. And that's why I only do one wheel at a time. Like, look at that paver. See how much it's sinking? The whole thing is cracking and everything. Like, <laughs> my yard really isn't designed to be working on a 9,000 pound trailer, but we gotta make do. Cause I can't afford to buy another house. So, boom. Now, once this thing levels out, then I'll do a proper amount of oil in the hub there. Solid as a rock. All right, now for the last step of the pimp your rims. Now this one, you don't have to do it, but if you want the best lot lizards, ready? Bang. <sighs> oh yeah. So that's it. Tang washers, rim paint, cap replace. I'm gonna pressure wash the trailer, but I'm not gonna record that. So, uh, we got confirmation we're leaving on Wednesday. So, I will see y'all in a couple of days once we're all packed up. And then I think I'm gonna show off the truck a little bit. So, see ya from a distance. What? Like, again, from a distance, that thing looks brand new. So, now it's later.